a spider clean crawled across my forehead while I was filming that. And I am praying that it is not still in there. I feel like it dropped out at the end of the clip, but I may have a spider in my hair. I have this squirrel that is always cussing me out when I come outside of my house and <laughs> this is so funny. So I just opened the door to let my dog go pee real quick and a peanut falls out of the sky and the squirrel is in the tree cussing me out. He ran off somewhere now because I'm holding this peanut. I tried to give it back but he didn't want to hear it. That, you see that branch up there? That one branch that's kind of going. The squirrel always sits on that branch and cusses me out when I come in and out of my front door. Like, the squirrels go from my mango trees, they scurry across my roof, and then they go into the neighbor's yard to get the peanuts, and then they come back. He's still walking around looking at me, but he's not fuss fussing this time. I wanna catch him he's, screaming. He's off somewhere. Where are you going, bro? I tried to give you your nut back, but you didn't want it. Be a good neighbor and just leave it right here on the corner of the stoop. I hope you all like my little fuzzy teeny Winnie afro i made the mistake black girls should never make i went to sleep with my hair loose and this is what i woke up with in the morning so i put this little crown on and my little flowy free people dress to just lean into this hippie thing so i come in peace um natural hair problem number two a spider clean crawled across my forehead while i was filming that and i am praying that it is not still in there. I feel like it dropped out at the end of the clip, but I may have a spider in my hair. Oh, geez, I felt something on my back. It's the strings from this dress. So yeah, the spider, the spider dropped out. He was still trying to hang on. I don't know why he won. I guess maybe the bright colors, um, but yeah, the spider's gone. So now we're gonna make us, us. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself <laughs> some dinner. So I had to, oh, turn the music off. I had to run out to Walgreens because I forgot the prime ingredient of my keto recipe that I'm going to make, which is um, keto pad thai. It's almond butter. The star of the show is what I don't have. So I popped over to the store real and quick. And that was a fail. I'm surprised. Well, I'm not surprised, but I am surprised. I kind of thought that almond butter had become commonplace uh, these days. So now I'm going to go over to Fresh Market and pray that they take Apple Pay, which I think they do because I forgot to bring my purse. <laughs> we'll see. Now I'm in five o'clock traffic. keto way of life i'm going to put the link down below now i'm not going to go super slow through everything i'm doing because this is not my recipe you can watch laura's video like i did and look up the recipe like i did but uh, the traffic should go to her if you actually want to do it yourself three tablespoons of fish sauce all right this is a half a tablespoon so we're going to do six of these premium fish sauce It's coming out of this container hella slow. My patience is thin today, and I'm normally a pretty patient person, but after this whole hunt for almond butter, I'm kind of over it. And this top doesn't want to come off. I can't. I can't. Does this come off? Is there an angle to hold this at? Shoot. 
Uh, all that shaking I did was just one half a teaspoon. So that's a lot more that needs to go in here. That's the fish sauce. Red chili paste. That smells weird. I'm gonna rinse this off. Okay. One and a half. One. Two. Three. I got this fun little garlic pack from um, Walmart. I have a ginger one too. So these are frozen. Hopefully they'll fall. One cube equals one garlic clove. I don't know. We'll pop two in there. I don't think too much garlic will hurt this recipe. Ooh, mm, smells good. It's the garlic. Hopefully that'll melt quickly. What else? Half juice of half a lime. I don't have any limes. I've got this key lime juice, and the lid was broken, so I mashed a water bottle cap on here. We're gonna eyeball this too, cause I don't know. That's it. If I was supposed to shake that first, I don't know. It did not get shooken. So we'll shake this one. Half a juice of a lemon. I do have a couple of lemons, but I'm saving those for something else. This is probably way too much. Again, this is why I don't tell y'all recipes, <laughs> because I don't follow them. One half tablespoon of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I don't think the consensus has ever been made with what we actually call this. There we go. And then all of this fuss for one tablespoon of almond bread. We're gonna put two in here just because, just because I went through all this trouble. So let's rinse off my spoon again. It smells really good. And that's a heaping tablespoon. This right here, what I'm doing, is why I don't bake. I do not follow recipes. All right, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. All right, y'all. And I apologize, my cousin who watches me regularly and gives me great feedback, Gwen, I love you. Um, told me that you know she wants to see more recipe and less of my breasts so i'm covered up today <laughs> but there's only so much i can show you because i have a galley kitchen like I don't, I don't have space in here for multiple camera angles nor do i have anybody helping me this is truvia the recipe says use splenda if you want to make it a little bit sweet i don't like splenda so just doing a sprinkle of truvia and then tomato sauce. She's Australian, so I'm assuming tomato sauce is ketchup. It might not be. I have tomato paste too, but I looked up, I googled what is the version, what is uh, what do Australians mean by tomato sauce, and the consensus was ketchup, so I hope that's right. And we need a one and a half tablespoons of that. This is not sugar-free. Again, it's a condiment. I don't use that much, so... I don't feel like I need to run out and buy something special. So I didn't use, I used three loose half tablespoons. I didn't go hard, but hopefully that'll be enough tomato flavor. So now we're mixing this up. Let me get my whisk. Let me get my whisk, get my whisk, get my whisk. Sorry, I'm silly today. Here's the other question. Will this big whisk fit in this little container? And it does. All right, let's mash this up. Can't stir too hard though, cause it's kind of full. Let me get my hand out the way. Still got some chunks. I feel like that's okay, cause I'm gonna cook it. Now our remaining things, I have chicken. This chicken, I already, um, I cooked this 
a while ago. It was in the freezer, so I pulled it out and I pulled the skin off and shredded it. I have some bean sprouts here. That's a can of bean sprouts. I didn't buy fresh. I have two eggs. Just gonna bust up the eggs in there. Pasta Zero spaghetti noodles. It's just one package. So it's still draining. I wanna get the water off. I, I took it out of the package and I rinsed it. And it's just been sitting here draining. I also have a green onion for garnish. I'm gonna cook the white parts. I already cut those off. And then the green part is gonna go on, sprinkle on the top. But I'm gonna just go ahead and put them in the sauce. Cause I like for them to get a little, little bit less crunchy. Just thin, very thin ribbons. If you don't use kitchen scissors, you are missing out. Kitchen scissors are the absolute business. All right. Get those onions popping in there. Move that back over. The recipe called for butter. I don't have any butter. So we're just gonna use, and I actually, I don't know if, she also said coconut oil. I'm gonna do a mix of avocado oil and coconut oil. And that is heating up nice and fast. Nice hot pan, in goes the noodles. Hear that sizzle? Make it sizzle, make it sizzle. All right, that's gonna go. I'm gonna throw these in there too. I wanna put those down. So I've actually never had these noodles before, but I hear that they have no flavor, so they should take all the flavor from the sauce. I'm gonna use this bowl to crack up a couple of eggs. Got a little shell. Cause I hit that bowl kinda hard. <laughs> and another. First I hit it too hard, then I'm too soft. Classic me. All right, so my hands will wash your room. Now, same whisk that I had over here for my sauce. This is why I left it over here. So I wanna mix up these eggs real quick. Pasta. I'm not a chef, so I'm not even going to attempt to do that whole shake and flip nonsense. But I will say, um, all up in the camera, hi. I have a keto playlist of all the recipes that I kind of want to try over the next, the next however long I keep vlogging. But this one that I'm doing now is number one on that on that keto cravings playlist. So just the FYI. All right, the recipe doesn't say how long this needs to cook. It looks all right to me. Some of the noodles look like they're, they're trying to cook, so I'm gonna stop it now. Um, I'm gonna add my bean sprouts in there too, again, cause I, I like those to be mixed in with my food. And the recipe, it uses the sprouts as garnish. I'm gonna use this to add to the robustness of my dish. All right, let's throw this egg in here. Move that to the side. Let the egg go. Goodness as I can. And 
I do this omelet style, you just let that thin layer coat the bottom of the pan. I don't know if you can see. Actually, it doesn't even need to be on the heat. So I let the egg coat the bottom, swing that back and forth, and then I just kind of mix it around because I want those big fluffy pieces of egg. Let that yolk come back through. So you see I got that nice soft scramble, then I'm going to bust that up. over and add the sauce in try this heat down some more water in here because I want all of this actually you know what I'm not gonna put water I'll pop some coconut oil in here because unlike my uh, unlike my original profession I said I wasn't going to actually I forgot my my coconut oil is solid from from the weather but I have not been getting enough fat in my daily meals I'm down like an average of 10% per day. But I am gonna put a little bit of water in this container to get all of this goodness out. Just a little splash of water. All right, oh my God, this does smell pretty good. It's smelling pretty good, y'all, it's smelling pretty good. Let's throw some chicken in here. I don't know, that looks like about two thighs worth. These noodles definitely don't yield very much. But they're in here. I won't be doing the crushed nut garnish at the end because I don't like nuts. I like nut butters. I don't like nuts. One of the meanest things you can do to me is give me a <laughs> give me a pastry or some type of dessert that has nuts in it. And even more meaner on the borderline sadistic is to crush it up so fine that I can't pick the nuts out. All right, so we're just letting this slow simmer to make sure that flavor of the sauce gets into everything. Everything. I kind of feel like I want some more onion in it. You know what, I'm gonna do some onion garnish anyway. All right, so here's my plate. This is the green spring onion, spring onion I'm gonna cut up. I feel like this is done. That's pretty good. What do you think? So it's gonna just sit over here off the eye. Um, I'm gonna cut that up at the end. But I'm, I, I feel like I need some vegetables. I, I have to have greens with my meal. All right, so we're just coming through Rogue. I'm gonna cut up some cabbage, just a little bit, to go with this meal. A very, very thin, almost coleslaw-like slice. Ideally, the camera will be, be on the other side, but I don't have the capabilities for that. Give a little 
chef's lineup. Drop that over there. Pick up the rest of this. Get our garnish still sitting over here and that has <clears throat> this has thickened up a little bit while it sat so let's plate it up <laughs> chicken and turn this camera up <laughs> it's good mm. it's not sweet enough though probably should have tasted the sauce I'm not really in the habit of tasting things while I make them but yeah that is good mmm see these eyes yeah 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 need a sprinkle of sweetener to balance out some of the the um acidity actually a little bit more pretty good another bite of this just for measure come on i'm struggling with these little not really noodles That's good. That's good. This right here. Keto chicken pad thai. It's a winner. <laughs> so dinner is done. I am going to go sit in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. I'm getting out of this kitchen and sit in the living room and continue watching the Queen's Gambit. So y'all have a good night. Thanks for joining me. Happy Vlogmas. So before I go, I just have to let y'all know that food was so much better with the cabbage. Oh my God, like I, I started happy dancing. It was so tasty. So for you chefs and for you people who just know a lot about food, is there a reason for that? That the dish, dish was kind of acidic, but with the cabbage, it was amazing. Let me know.